Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Action Force Karak, and it comes in that typical Action Force style packaging. On the left side of the packaging, it does say Action Force. On the right side of the package, we have Karak all geared up and just raging out, just ready to destroy. You can see he's from Series 1, he's number 5, and he even has the little Garrison logo of his faction that he is in charge of. Here we have the back of the package, and man, do I love Action Force packaging. The back of the boxes hit right in the nostalgia. You got all of Series 1 on there with some amazing artwork, and you got the QR code so you can go and see additional Action Force products. We got the file card that you can read and, and cut out, and you got two Action Force points that you can cut out as well. Here we have an up close look at Karak's file card, so feel free to pause it if you'd like to read it. Here we have the plastic insert that holds the figure in place. It is still awesome because you got the cover. We got the fruit roll up wrapper, just revealing the figure, protecting from paint rub onto the plastic. And you can put the figure back in the package and back in the box for you collectors that don't want to have your figures out all the time. Carrick straight out of the package comes with a pair of gripping hands equipped. We also get a pair of fist hands. We also get a pair of trigger finger hands. Finally, we get those amazing support hands that you can have a lot of fun with. If you want your Carrick to be donating to Toys for Tots, you could definitely have him doing that. Carrick comes with a 1911 pistol and this thing looks pretty awesome. It's got the hole for the effect piece and just a nice sidearm to have. Carrick does come with a hunting knife. This thing is painted very well, looks awesome. It's made out of that harder plastic, so no bending and warping. But be very careful as this is very, very sharp. Now, weapon that Carrick comes with that you can't get in any of the weapon sets. Uh, the only way to get this weapon is through buying the figure is his hatchet or throwing axe. I mean, this thing is pretty awesome. It is cast in black plastic. It's got that silver for the edge. You just know it's, it's super sharp and deadly. And then we got some wraps around the handle for a good grip. Carrick does not come with a traditional backpack. He actually comes with a sheath for his sawed off shotgun and this thing is awesome. There's texture throughout, has the molly strapping on the front and that's just awesome. I love how a lot of these figures have molly strapping for their accessories, but look at the detail in this thing. This thing looks freaking phenomenal. And then when you're looking at like the handle to the sawed off, it's all has a texture for grip. Pull that bad boy out. Look at the detail. It's got the spot for the effect piece. Just a very nice sawed off shotgun and it looks great in solid black. Now my favorite piece that Karak comes with and it's honestly one of the more important pieces to identify Karak as Karak and that is his Spartan helmet. It's got all these sculpted in rivets. It's got like blood smeared on each side. It's got some slices. It's got some battle damage. I mean it looks awesome. I like the little spikes on the top. Definitely a very badass and intimidating style helmet to see this dude just charging at you with an axe and a knife wearing this helmet. Definitely would have some intimidation factor going on. Karak up close looks badass. I love the head sculpt. It's probably one of my more favorite head sculpts next to Bone Collector because there's tons of sculpted in detail. Look at the brow. There's crow's feet around the eyes. He's got that gritting teeth. The beard. Tons of detail in the head sculpt. Just making him look pissed off and ready to beat somebody's ass. It is a very cool head sculpt. I like it a lot. Um, it's done really well. He has this little bomber vest thing on there. It's got a leather texture. It's got like the wool, you know, collar and everything. And that wool texture goes on the inside as well, which is really nice. Um, he is wearing a tank top, a gray tank top underneath there. Texture on that. I mean, they didn't hold back in textures on these figures. We got these beautiful 
muscular arms with no pins. Look at that beauty. Uh, we got a paracord. It looks like bracelets. Um, just like a some sort of watch or strap bracelet thingy. Again, that pinless technology. Nice. On the back, he's got his uh, Garrison logo. And you can see that texture of the leather in there as well. Just looking very nice. We got this green loose belt. Buckles are black. Pants are black with texture. Holster for the pistol. Sheath for the knife. And look at the texture on that. It's got that, that leather look. Also with the stitching around it beautiful wrinkles in the pants and i love these boots i love this black and green style of these military boots and then you got the treading on the bottom just overall a very badass looking figure now for carrick to dive into his articulation i did take his vest off so you could really see what it's all about with the articulation the vest was easy to take off you put the arms facing backwards and it just slides off. But you get to see him all in his tank top glory. The pinless arms. I, I love the pinless tech on these figures. Makes them look so much cleaner. And just looks really good with that tank top on there. And uh, his articulation is very similar to other figures that we've seen before. His head can lean forward. It's a ball and disc. So it can lean down that far. It can lean up this far. And then uh, you do get the left and right. Uh, not much attitude, a little bit, not much. His arms can go all the way up to a T-pose, looking great. And then we get the awesome butterfly joint that allows you to bring in these arms like so. We get the bicep swivel, we get the disc joint right there. Bicep swivel, the double jointed pinless elbows wrist rotation and then we get bend in all the hands so that's always nice um let me get the arm sort of out of the way he does have this nice smooth like butter movement right here so you can have him leaning forward like so or you can have him getting kicked back or punched back now with punching him back and stuff like that you do want to notice there's slight but very minimal gappage there i mean it's all depending on how you angle it but not nearly as bad as some of the legends that I've gotten. His legs. Full Van Dam. <laughs> he does have drop down hips as well. He can do a really high kick. Which is awesome. He's got to be able to be kicking. So he can kick some booty. He's got the double jointed knee. So he can do some knee drops. Boot cuts where it needs to be. Ankle bend. And pivot. So plenty of articulation when it comes to Karak. Here we have Karak with all his gear equipped on him. And he looks badass. He looks really badass with holding the axe. Got the sheath for the knife. Got the pistol holstered. The shotgun on the back. The helmet on. I, I don't really think a neutral face would have been good under this helmet. So good choice on the expressive head. But it would have been cool to have a neutral head in case you didn't want him with that facial expression all the time. Especially if he doesn't have the helmet on. But uh, this figure is very, very awesome. And really can fit in with a lot of your collection. Now I did find a spot to store the hatchet. It's that extra belt that we got. I just fit the sort of the sharp end. Pointy end, should I say. In right like so. It just sort of sits there. I don't know how practical that would be because you can see this whole silver part would be super sharp. But I'm sure if you added some heat, you could probably, you know, stretch this out a little bit to where this could hang down like so. Um, but either way, it's still a cool way of storing all his gear if you don't want him constantly holding that hatchet. Karak's balance is on point. You can just have him sprinting off, getting ready to blast somebody with his sawed off, or just have him sprinting away after he's taken out some people. It is a cool looking figure. I love the accessories, the design. It is, it's fun. I mean, you could just have a blast with this guy. And you can see, you know, those ankles where a lot of this balance comes into play. Carrick definitely doesn't uh, take well to spies. As you can see, he's just covering his hand over the dude's mouth and stabbing him in the gut. Like, just gutting him like a fish in 
that is awesome about these figures. They're super expressive. You could pose them up really well and blend them in with other figures. Like this is actually a stealth suit Spidey from the MCU Marvel Legend line. And you can see that it works really well with this figure. And I just have him getting stabbed all the hell in the gut. Here I have Karak just breaking the shit out of Spider-Man and it looks awesome. This figure is dope. I like it a lot. He can hold his positions. His joints straight out of the package were actually pretty good. I didn't have to do too much heating on him. And that's something I know a lot of people can feel like it could get monotonous to have to keep heating up figures and stuff, especially if you bought a variety of them. I guarantee heat it up a couple times and you'll be good. And when I say heat it up, you're, you're not spending five minutes, 10 minutes heating up these figures. Maybe, maybe like three minutes, maybe two minutes. It doesn't take much time to heat them, work them, and then when it cools off, if any of the joints start feeling tight or snug, heat it up a little bit more. But once these joints are worked, these things move like butter. They can hold poses. That's that's something that is great. They hold balance. You don't have any loose, floppy joints. That is what we're looking for in figures. How many times have you gotten figures that you had to add, you know, you know, fingernail polish or floor polish or whatever to get the joints to start holding again? It's it's something you're not gonna have to deal with with the action force line but uh this figure is badass i love the look the design it, th this figure is awesome it is up there like bone collector and karak have to be the heaviest hitters out of the first wave hands down and that sums up my unboxing and review of action force karak if you guys like what you saw hit that thumbs up new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button so i can help you guys can help like evolve the channel and uh i do want you guys to hit the silver bell notification if you want to know when i post up a new video check out vela versus information youtube website all that stuff down below if you're looking to pick up some action force figures and make sure you take advantage of series 2a and b before the pre-orders sell out because if you get them from the Valiverse site you're going to get them first before big bad toy store I mean, I'm still waiting for a couple from Big Bad Toy Store. So definitely check out Valiverse.com. And also make sure you guys check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. Got the website down below. And there's a promo code for Toyco's website for free shipping on anything that you would order off the website. Make sure that you guys check out Toyco's pre-order group. Keeps you in the know with a lot of the collectibles, especially a lot of the imports, because you don't want to pay secondary market pricing on any figure, especially imports. So just join the Facebook group and you can see what's coming out. And make sure you guys have the best luck hunting, keep on collecting, and have a beautiful day.